Hello children, today I am going to teach you the poem The Brook and it is written by the famous poet Alfred Lord Tennyson. So first of all I must introduce to you who is Alfred Lord Tennyson. He was born in the year 1809 and he survived till 1892. He was one of the famous poets of Victorian England. That means that time England was ruled by Queen Victoria. He was the son of a clergyman, a rich person, and he was born in Lincolnshire, England. Tennyson started writing from a very early age. He started writing from a very early age of his life. And after that, he went to the famous university called Cambridge University. He joined a group of intellectuals. That means he made a group of intelligent people. And that group is known as Apostles. Apostles. Among his notable work, you can uh, remember The Lady of Shalott, The Lotus Eaters, The Palace of Art, published in 1832. After the loss of his beloved friend, he had a very good friend who died at an early age. So when he saw that his friend died, whose name was Arthur Hallam, he felt very bad. And thereafter he wrote uh, a poem on his friend and the name of that particular collection is called Poems. He also wrote Ulysses, Morty, the author and lyric called Break, Break, Break. He also wrote In Memoriam in the year 1850. So he wrote very beautiful things in his life and still we study. I personally have studied The Charge of Light Brigade, Mort and other poems, Idyllis of the King. He was also appointed as a laureate in November 1850, a poet laureate. Tennyson died at the age of 83 and was buried in the Poets' Corner at Westminster Abbey, a very remarkable and prestigious place. That was um, in the year 1892. At the age of 83, he passed away towards the heavenly abode. And he was buried in the most remarkable place where only the greatest poets are buried. So he was buried in the Poets Corner at Westminster Abbey in London. So in this video you have understood uh, who is Alfred Lord Tennyson and uh, what are his contribution in the uh, throughout his life and we as a reader can read his variety of poems. Uh, not only the poem The Brook, we can read a lot of other poems because his creativity, his creations are all wonderful. Whenever you get time, you please uh, try to read his other collection, then you will be able to understand his characteristics of writing, his temperament, his mood, etc. So, in the next video, I will give you the explanation of the poem. Thank you.